Hello everybody, Bad Wolf here with another video on modding the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Today is an update on the Witcher 3 Mod Manager and how to do priorities. On my uh, previous video on the Mod Manager, I had discussed about priorities. I've had a few questions about how do I know what the priorities are supposed to be. And my reply was that it you have to go to the mod page that you get, especially if it's a mod that has to deal with uh, a character's texture, face texture. Um, if it changes their hair, their hairstyle or color, uh, it changes their eye color, or it changes the shape of their body. You have to know what order to put it in and what priority or uh, what priority it needs to be in. Now, the only way that you're going to find that is through the descriptions of the mods that you download. So with that in mind, I will go to uh, the Nexus page of the mods that I am using. And I'm giving you, uh, I'm showing you what uh, I have sent a question to the creator of the mod, and which is Paul R0013. Uh, this particular mod is uh, uh, called My Nudes Collection. And I had to ask a question to make sure that I knew the particular load order because some of these mods will conflict with each other. So in order for them to look right, I have to know what the priority is. So um, I had the question because I got one certain outfit uh, for, for Siri and I needed to know if uh, where I need to place it in priority wise in order for everything to work so at the time the mods that i had were uh, hairs and uh, eyes and hairs uh l's custom complexions his paul's version of uh, mod of uh, my nudes then his mod of should be nude then there was another mod of uh, unique character textures then the, then the outfit mods uh which and then the Witcher Secret, which is another mod of Paul's uh, that is different from the other mount outfit mods, like first uh, series outfit that I was asking about. Um, and then the, the HC4K, that's Humans of the Continent for uh, 4K. Uh, the HDMR, that's High Definition Monsters uh, rework, remastered, I think. Uh, and then the HDRP, which is High Definition Rework Project. So when I was asking him that question, he replied it, that it looks to be correct, as you can see. Um, it says uh, it's important to note that priority only matters if two or, more, two or more mods contain the same file. So take an example. Uh, I'll throw in Chris. I have... Uh, four different mods that it will change the same thing, which is uh, Triss Auburn hair, uh, Triss intense uh, eyes, uh, Triss 4K smoother for her complexion, and then the um, uh, Triss mod that's in the My Nudes uh, collection, uh, which is... Uh, it's, it's almost like, uh, I, I, the name escapes me. It's this one mod that um, makes it to where in, in the torture scene, the torturers normally in some of the other, in, in the other game of The Witcher 2, they had stripped uh, uh, Louisa Lafayette of, of, of clothes. So the, this mod did the same thing. It, this mod does the same thing, but only with Triss. And so in, in oh, wait a minute. I think it's called dy dynamic. Um, 
dynamic tris. Anyway, what it does is that in that particular scene, it makes her nude, and then right afterwards, after everything is done, then she's clothed again. She's back in clothed again. Uh, she's redressed herself. So, all those mods overwrite the same thing, and that is dress. Uh, everything is attached as a whole for these characters. Uh, so if you have to change, if, if a mod creator changes the color of Trish's hair to Auburn, all he's doing is coloring, recoloring her hair, but the rest of her body is still attached uh, to the hair. So that's, which makes sense because all you're doing is just changing the hair and you're leaving everything else alone. But now, if I want to change her eyes to what the book show, what, what the book says is cornflower blue eyes, then I use that mod, uh, which is insane. It's insane, Chris eyes, um, which changes her eye colors to blue. But also, that not the person who made that had just changed the color of Chris's eyes. And the rest of her, the rest of her uh, appearance is still there. So that goes below uh, in in priority. Her eyes will go below her hair color change. Now, the uh, my nudes collection or should be new. Yeah, the my nudes collection. Uh, there's there's one in there for Tris. Paul hasn't changed any in her hair or her eyes. He just removed. He just removed her clothes for the torture scene, but everything else is the same. So that will be placed below the hair mod and her eyes. So now, when the game reads it, it goes, "Okay, here's Tris. There's her hair color. Okay." Everything else is the same. Oh, wait a minute. I've got to change this now to her. Her hair is, is changed colors. Now her eyes are changed colors. Everything else is good. And then it reads that, well, her outfit has been changed in one scene. So now we've got that. Um, and then in between there, I forgot to say, right uh, right after her eyes, I did a, a uh, I have a mod for her complexion. It's a, a 4K rendering and smoother features uh, of her skin. That goes below her eyes. So uh, as, as the game is loading, it reads, her hair is, is changed, but the rest of her is okay. You know, in, in this next step, now it's her eyes are changed along with her hair. So those two are, are loaded up correctly. And then it goes down and it sees that, okay, so her complexion has changed. So we'll put that in there, but the other two are still okay because they, they're load, already loaded into the game. And now now after her complexion, oh, there, here's something that changes her appearance, her outfit. So all the other ones have already loaded up. They're good to go. Now I'm now it's loading up the, the, um, the uh, appearance of Triss. So that's how the priorities work. Uh, I tried to... I tried to explain it the simplest way I, I could. And so forgive me for my stuttering and stammering on that. But as you can see on the My News collection, uh, this is how, when it comes to uh, characters, uh, this is how it should be when, when you're putting the priorities. Uh, and I will go back to the Mod Manager. And as you can see, We've, I've got Teresa's Auburn hair at number 18. Now, when you're wanting to change the priority, you can do one of two things. I showed this in the previous uh, mod, as, uh, the previous video as well of the mod manager. You double click on it, and then you type in the number, and then you press enter, and it changes it. That's all there is to it. If I wanted to change this to 19, 19, it changes it. I'm going to change it back to 18 because that's where it originally was and that's where the game 
that I have already loaded up uh, remembers it at. You can change it there, or you can even change it here on the right hand, on the left hand side. So we've got Tris's auburn hair. This is only in alphabetical order. Uh, well, I shouldn't say only, I can set it for uh, priority order, which how, how the priority is. Um, just like I can change it to when the game, when I installed the mod. But right now I have it in uh, alphabetical order. So here's Triss's Auburn hair. If I want to change it on the left hand side, double click it, it pops up. I number it 18 because it's already 18 over there. So it now matches and now matches what it shows on the right. Now, if I wanted to go ahead and change this one to 18, it will change the one on the right hand side as well. So I'll change this to 19. And as you can see, not only is it changed here to 19, it is also changed here to 19. So either way it goes, you can just set these in prior, you could just put priorities on this side, uh, number them on this side, or you can number them here on this side and it changes both. I've got to set this back to 18 because that's what it was originally and that's what, how my game remembers it being in pri the priority wise. And I hope that covers everything. Um, like I said, continue to look at the uh, descriptions. If you have mods that they want you to, that they have a requirement on where they are in, in priority wise. And if they do, and you still don't understand it, it does not hurt to ask a question, to uh, ask a question in a comment and and then post it in, in the post tab. Uh, it may have been answered before, but it may not have. So like I said, if it's, if it's, in the, if it's not in the description or if it is in the description, uh, then it will um it, then then you'll know where, where they want it at but if you still have more questions like i said uh, make a comment and ask your question uh i think that's it um I, sorry again sorry for the stuttering and the stammering i was trying to think of a uh, an easier way to uh, describe how the process works and why prior, prioritizing mods are necessary. Um, and if you like this video, go ahead and press the like button. Uh, if you wish to subscribe, click on subscribe. And if you wish to be notified, uh, click the bell. And I thank you for watching this video. And I will have more updates to come on my other videos. Uh, so as for now, this is Bad Wolf. And as always, good luck on the path.